First, remove the crab legs. Then open them up. You'll find this vinyl-like tissue inside. What is this? This video was created in response to a question we received following our previous video on crab dissection. What is this vinyl-like tissue? Some might think this is a crab bone, but in reality, crabs and other crustaceans do not have bones inside their bodies. Instead of an endoskeleton like humans, crustaceans have an exoskeleton, a hard outer shell that protects their muscles and internal organs. So, for crustaceans, this hard shell serves as their bone. Then what is the plastic-like tissue inside the shell? This is a tendon which extends from the exoskeleton. While the exoskeleton is great for protection, it is not very efficient for movement. Thus, crabs use these tendons to facilitate movement. To explore this, we dissected a crab leg. You'll notice that the part we typically eat is the crab's muscle which is connected to a tendon. This is the tendon. When we remove the muscle, the tendon remains attached to the exoskeleton, and the muscle movement transfers to the tendon, and then to the exoskeleton. It's easier to understand if you try it with a pair of scissors. If you cut through, locate the tendon, and pull it, you can see it move. There are two tendons like this, each moving in the opposite direction to the other. The tendon in the claw is particularly wide. This gives the claw a very strong closing force. In this way, tendons help transmit force between muscles and the exoskeleton, similar to how our own tendons function. Crab entrails contain heavy metals? Unfortunately, this is true. Nearly all marine products including crabs, octopuses, squid, shellfish, and seaweed, contain heavy metals. But crab entrails are particularly high in these substances. To understand why, let's look at what we call the crab innards, or the hepatopancreas. The hepatopancreas is a digestive gland in arthropods that combines the functions of the liver and pancreas. So it secretes digestive enzymes, and also detoxifies toxic substances like heavy metals that enter the body. Therefore, the hepatopancreas tends to have the highest concentration of metals and chemicals among all crab parts. Shocking, isn't it? But that doesn't mean you should immediately stop eating crab innards. State and local agencies regulate heavy metals in crustaceans, and most people don't consume crab daily. If consumed in moderation, it shouldn't pose a major issue. However, even small amounts of heavy metals can cause severe symptoms during the development of the nervous system. Thus, it is advisable for pregnant women and children under 5 years old to avoid eating crab innards. Why is it illegal to sell female red snow crabs? The reason is straightforward. To prevent the extinction of red snow crabs. It takes seven to eight years for a crab to grow to a harvestable size. Yet humans catch and consume a vast number of crabs annually. Female snow crabs can lay nearly 100,000 eggs each, and catching these females could severely impact population recovery. For these reasons, some states strictly regulate the harvesting of female crabs and those below a certain size. Lastly, I know you've seen how Sebastian refuses to eat crabs, but he probably prefers meat. He loves the vacuum-cooked chicken I buy for my training. Though it's pricey. That's all for this video. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe to our channel, Unraveling the Mysteries of Science. This was Fishy Science.